Back at 749, we are debating and debating as we are about to reveal Times Person of the Year Wednesday on today. To get us ready, Willie's got the short list, and we've been looking it over. Willie, take it away. Yeah, this is always an exciting time of year and a controversial one. Nancy Gibbs is Time Magazine's editor. Decision comes out Wednesday, right? Okay. We'll learn who the Time Person of the Year is. Let's get it down now to your final eight, as you're going to reveal for us here this morning. Walk us through the list. We have Alibaba founder Jack Ma, the Ebola caregivers, Russian President Vladimir Putin, the Ferguson protesters, Apple CEO Tim Cook, pop star Taylor Swift, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, and the President of Iraqi Kurdistan, Masoud Barzani. Okay, a lot to chew on there, guys. What's your first reaction? Ooh, wow. I don't know. We've been going over yeah. it. I think yeah. we, we shouldn't say what we What think. our guesses yeah. are? Yeah. I mean, we should put him on a secret ballot, and exactly. then on Wednesday oh. we can say whether we were right I think or that's wrong. a good idea, that's a good idea. But you have some very thought-provoking yeah. people. And a categories. wide range. Let's run through some of these, Nancy. Why Tim Cook? Everyone wondered whether he could live up to Steve Jobs' uh, legacy at Apple of reinventing whole categories regularly with the Apple Watch. We think that he stands a good chance of doing that. That's why he's running the most valuable company in the world, according to investors. And you looked at a couple of news stories as well, as you often do. The Ebola Caregivers is a one. The Ebola Caregivers is still very much in the news. Out of the headlines here, except we're finding every day there are new cases in Sierra Leone. This outbreak is not under control yet. And the Ferguson protesters as Likewise. Well. Every day is still in the news, in this case expanding across the country into the case of Eric Garner. It's launched a whole new conversation about race relations and the administration of justice in this country. And an entirely different note, a monster year for Taylor Swift. She's on the list not just as the world's biggest pop star, which she is, but as a businesswoman and as an activist for the value of content. When she took her music off the streaming service Spotify, she was arguing that music and content needs to be valued in a different way. Okay, a couple things I noticed not on the list. You know, there are always people saying, what about, what about the Pope will not win back-to-back -back time Person of the Year awards, and the President of the United States not on the list. We like to think this is a forward looking choice in the Pope's year, I think, validates our decision last year. In a way, the President of the United States could always be on the list, but he has had a pretty difficult year. He's been very embattled, and we think that uh, these people in, a, in different ways and different spheres have, have more influence. Hey, Nancy? Year. Did you yep. guys suggest, did you consider Rokerthon for oh, part of Roker. your yes. phenomenon of the year? Absolutely. Yeah. Also receiving <laughs> votes was Al Roker. Thank you for getting it down to the Elite Eight. You'll be back here on Wednesday to make the announcement of the Time Person of the Year. We want you, our viewers, to participate in all this as well. Vote at Facebook.com slash today. Which of these eight is your Person of the Year? We will announce your choice as well tomorrow here on Today. Nancy, thank you again. Guys, thank back you. to you. All right. Thanks, Willie. Appreciate it.